friends and Filipino friends and family. I hope you are doing well. And to Emmy with a big heart, miss you very much. Just want to show you. It's snowing again. It's coming down. See? <laughs> we're getting more. It's coming out of the sky. We're not done yet. I thought we were going to get more, but uh, it's just coming down like a banshee now. It's just coming down. See? See, you could see it. It's just coming down now. But I hope everybody had a nice morning. I had a good morning. Um, and to Emmy, I miss you very much with a big heart. I wish you a nice morning soon. I hope everybody has a nice evening and night. For some of you, have a nice morning. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I had a great weekend. It's just snowing, see? See? It's just snowing. I just want to show you slowly, see? See? Lots of it's coming down. <laughs> but I, I had a great weekend. Uh, I had a good morning. Uh, I'm just happy Tom Brady won his seventh Super Bowl. And for the pa Patriot, New England Patriots fan and Pat, uh, Patriot Nation, Nation, we're very happy for you, Tom Brady. I know you played and we're very happy for you. Like I said before, it doesn't matter what team or system he's in. Tom Brady is the best player. And... The best uh, quarterback in history and wide sports nation. He's the best player over overall in anything. What he's done, and while training camp, while mini camp, and what he's while practicing with the new team, this is why he's the best ever. And like they said on, uh, like they said on sports, whatever I said it before, uh, he's the best player in the NFL. Period. You were in today's world and the best quarterback all time and wide sports nation overall. He's the best player all time because what he's done in his career, period. Because he's won with a new team every year, new offense, receivers, uh, new system while training camp and mini camp and preseason while much time to practice with the new receivers. He's, he's done it all. And why those players got signed, uh, Partly, he was being the GM. Uh, he's the reason why Crunk got signed. He's the reason why Antonio Brown got signed. Leonard Fredette, this player, that player. He's the reason why uh, Tampa is in the position they are in. And the defense was good, and the coaching staff was good overall. So overall for Tampa, congratulations. And that's from a longtime Patriots fan. So I'm very happy for, for Tom Brady. See, it's very cold. <laughs> it's very cold out here. See, it's just snowing. We're going to get more. I'm going to have to come out here probably soon again and get some of the shoveling or snow plowing so we don't have to uh, get so much buried out here. See? I hope everybody had a great Monday. I'm still having a good Monday. Uh, this is going to be joining the evening soon. Uh, for dinner, we're having mashed potatoes and... Uh, uh, steak or meat steak for dinner and some good dinner tonight we're having good dinner tonight yeah so that's our dinner tonight and uh, we I enjoyed a nice breakfast we had Dunkin Donuts coffee uh, we had some donuts. We enjoyed that. Some rice. This. So it was a nice morning overall. And uh, I got more of those uh, pumpkin spice uh, coffee things where you put them in the thing. And it just makes it nice and hot. So those are very good. I got those. So, yeah. So all set for the week. Because look. See. See. <laughs> see all this snow coming down again. I mean there's other places like you're getting hammered as much as we are. But we've been very lucky. I'm not going to complain. We've been very, 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 very lucky. Like Connecticut's getting hammered. Uh, Canada, certain cities and towns where I don't live, certain areas are getting hammered. Yeah, so see. See, more is coming down. See. <laughs> well, I hope everybody enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great Tuesday ahead. And, um... Like I said, I'm just happy for Tom Brady. I know a lot of people don't like him. But like I said before, put a better team out there. Stop drafting. Stop drafting foolish. Like a lot of people are like putting money on that player, drafting that player. 
uh, spending all this money where they can't do anything with the cap because they don't know what they're doing. That's why a lot of teams are not ses successful like the Patriots or since Brady got to Tampa now. That's one reason. That's one reason they win because they, they don't act foolish like a lot of teams are drafting buses after bus, signing this player, signing that player when they don't do anything, don't know how you... See, I, I keep telling people, if you want a better team out there, put a better team out there. Stop drafting coolest, stop drafting this player, stop spending it where it doesn't mean. That's why New England has been good. That's why Tampa won, because they signed all these players to one year or two year less money. And why they did good, because Tom they listened to Tom Brady how you put a team out there. Because Tampa's upper management, you can't really trust it sometimes. But this time around, they finally got it right. When when Tom Brady got to Tampa, it was like lights out. <laughs> and Robert Kondowski did good last night. Antonio Brown did good. The whole team did good the whole year. People could hate Tom Brady all he want. He's that good. He's the best player. He's the best quarterback. Not Mahomes. Mahomes is uh, Mahomes is overrated. Kansas City is overrated. They're very lucky to be in the championship when we beat them. When uh, when we beat the Rams, they're very lucky to be there last year. They were lucky to win the Super Bowl last year, and this year they're lucky. They've been squeaking by all year. They're not that good, and not in the mean way. Mahomes has a lot of work to do. He needs to work on scanning the field. Mechanics need to be worked on. His throwing motion needs to be worked on. Throwing the ball a little bit better. Because it looks so wobbly. It looks horrible when you... If you watch him throw the football to... It's not good. Like I said, Kansas City did not belong there. And this so-called best quarterback all time, Dynasty, Chief, Nation, uh, Kingdom Chief, it's over with. Enjoy that Super Bowl you had last year because it was very lucky. San Fran blew that. To be honest... Uh, Mahomes should be at zero rings. Let's let's get that out of the way. Let's see, I'll show you one more time. I'm glad Kansas City lost last night. Sorry. Overrated team. They got lucky all season. Luck ran out last night. Mahomes got bum rush. See? See how much snow? <laughs> I'll show you. My hands are cold. I'm going to show you up here. See how much is coming down. It's like coming down like a banshee out here. See? It's coming down a lot. But I'm just glad. I know a lot of people don't like the Patriots. Even without Tom Brady, I know people don't like the Patriots. I know a lot of people don't like Tom Brady. But like I said, put a better team out there. It's not our fault we don't. It's not our fault you have a bad GM or don't know how to draft or this or that. It's not our fault. It's called most of the teams people root for your GM and ownership is horrible. That's why they continue the draft misery. Miserable, I mean. And don't put the right pieces out. See? Well, take care, everyone. I'm going to go back in. Um, I just wanted to show you how much snow is out here. Oh, my goodness, guys. See? It's not stopping. It's not stopping anytime soon. See? See? I just want to show you. It's not It's not going to stop. That's why I um, got to keep an eye out here. Cause can't let it get out too... Cool. Can't let it get out of control out here. Like last time we waited too long and this was like built way up. It was very difficult to shovel up. Well, not difficult to shovel up, but... Not difficult to sho uh, shovel or snow pile, but it was pretty hard because of what's going on. Sorry, I don't mean to ramble about the Tom Brady, but I'm sorry. People are just so jealous of Tom Brady, even when he... And people are still jealous of the Patriots with it, the accomplish. And I'm just saying, one bad season for the Patriots. We're not done. We're going to get everything corrected. We're going to get the right pieces put in place again, and then we'll start winning again. We had one bad season. I don't count this season because of what's going on. A lot of our players opted out, like I said in my last video. But, anyways, take care always, Anna.
And I know Belichick has been, I know we've been drafting really bad. We haven't been really good at drafting. But the players who we did not draft, how are they win Are they winning? Are they winning the Super Bowl? No, because the team like DJ Metcalf is on a, on Seattle. Why Seattle continues to lose because of their uh, signings. And Pete Carroll is the reason why they continue to lose. Because his decision making and his coaching has been really horrible. That's why Russell Wilson has been very frustrated. With all the players we missed out, I know it's uh, very frustrating, but it's not a big deal to me because what they have they done anything? Are they going to the Super Bowl? Are they winning? No, and no, and no. The players we missed out have not won a playoff game or a Super Bowl berth yet, so not a big deal. And we're not paying outrageous money to. It's that's not happening. See, it's rough. <laughs> well, take care, everyone. Be careful. Be safe. Uh, wherever you're at, be safe. And to Emmy with a big heart, I miss you very much.